I made the right call about the... Uh, Laundry? Yeah. What about study? Study one hour, 40 minutes in zone three. Go. So that's my challenge, one hour, 40 minutes in zone three. GPS on. But remind me, when we come down the long ro that long ramp near the bathrooms to take yeah. a drink, because I'm going to be out for over an hour and I haven't, haven't got any water with me today. Where do you get the water? Right? From the bathroom. This is a sink with a hot and cold. Are you sure it's water? Yeah. Yeah, it's not killed me yet. I just don't want to uh, dehydrate. If my blood gets thick, it's much harder here. Yeah. I don't have the auto pause today, so if I slow down or stop, it'll keep counting. Because sometimes when I'm in the forest, it Can't loses the signal. It in order to get your drink? Oh, that doesn't bother me. It's more to do with I don't want it to lose track of, uh, of time and, and where I am. I want to be out for one hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. Not one hour, 40 minutes plus all the stops. I want the stops to be included. I'm trying to amass a large number now. So 100 today and 60 tomorrow. Hello. Hi. Oh, no, the day Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, John. Uh, Jim. Fiddler. Yep, if he's running with his app on. We'll see each other cross again. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> Small world, eh? We were talking about Al Howie and the Harriers. All the. I don't think he was. I think he might have been uh, Team West Coast. Rivals, yeah. I remember one year Team West Coast beat the Harriers in the series. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was like losing in a world war. They call, they call them, uh, no, in the States, they call them uh, Buckeyes. Yeah, the conker looks like a, a buck, like the eye of a deer, big brown eye. Buckeyes. Yeah, the conker. They call them Buckeyes. And then there's the Buckeye State, the uh, Ohio State. Buckeyes. A friend of mine supports them. College football, I think. <coughs> There's the sock. Yeah. And we've got to look out for the corn now. I think it's on the next section. We already checked this one out the other day. Not this part. But I was here yesterday. How are you feeling? Hot. Huh. Huh? 
maybe on the harvest lane when we start hiking again. Oh no, you could take it off then. So, look out for the corn. If I come back out this way, I'll make a point of checking every single house. It's the one that... I I remember it was halfway down San Juan. I remember once getting so hot that I just put my jacket in the bushes here, my um, hoodie. No, I forgot it. <laughs> but the next day it was when I came back. Yeah, it was like temporary storage. Te I saw that. It might be plum. A little plum tree. It's clean enough to eat for me. To plum. Oh. The tiny little stone. Our plums are really tasty if you want one. Mm. Well, I don't know if we're going to get a like a season. They're just going to be drip, drip, dribs and drabs all summer long. No. I mean, we used they to get. They have to be properly fertilized, and they were not. Oh, I see. So this is like the remnants of last year's. Yeah, lots of people don't have their pears. Huh. I don't think we've had too many figs either this year. Hello. Hi. Hello, oh, dog. Hi. So this is Harrop going up. Is it? Harrop. The other day when we went hiking, we went, we joined that trail higher up. Yeah, Harrop. Oh, Harrop. Harrop with a H. Yeah. Paris. <laughs> Paris. Harrop with a H. That's another variant of Harrop with an H. It's funny, I measured this run that I'm planning to do today with my mapping tool, and it comes out at about 10 kilometers. And uh, if I went to the bog, it would take me the same time to run 3K more. Hi. I often get kids saying, why is that man running? And the littler ones, they say, look, mom a pirate. So this is my favorite section. Downhill and windy. No. It's a nice swoopy kind of downhill trail.
Hang on. I'm not getting quite enough information here. I'm going to have to toggle the heart rate zones just so I know when I'm pushing it. how you settle for what you're familiar with. There you go. Now I have somebody to talk with. Norma's up ahead. I'll catch up with her soon. I just paused a little bit to change the settings on my app. Kind of reassuring to hear the zone changes again. I missed it within 10 minutes. I was missing it. I wasn't getting enough feedback. Coming up to Church Hill Drive. Yep, so I saw Jim Fiddler on the mountain yesterday. He was hiking. Uh, no, he was riding his bike. That's right, I was hiking. And um, I noticed that he is also on my Strava flyby. And this morning, we both see each other. Him running with a group and me running with Norma. So, I might as well wait for her, because I'm only going to be running part of the run today with her. And the rest, I'll be running by myself. Skid marks. Man-made. Maybe somebody was killing a slug. I'm going to have to read up about those uh, wood lice, wood lice or split worms or whatever they're called, whether they're desirable or undesirable, because I have hundreds of them in my compost. I'm hoping that they finish eating what they want to eat. What? Yeah, well, hopefully we don't have too many snakes or rats, but... Uh, I was thinking that if eventually their food source runs out, they'll die. Yeah, but that's what they got to eat. Yeah, I guess they got food there for a year or two. Yeah, anyway. I could freeze them, or kill them, or leave them open in the winter, but it never really gets that cold here. Uh, so we've been running for 20 minutes. You see, this is my first hydration reminder at 20 minutes. And I'm going to get another one at 40 minutes. So that by that time, I would have passed my chance. So I, I, have, to pull, I have to pull in to take a drink so I can continue the run.
Hello. Well, this guy, Jim Fiddler, he's now doing mostly riding. He's the guy who did the six mountains, six times Mount Doug yesterday. I was hiking up there and he was riding up there. No, I don't think he competes at all, but that group looked like it might have been an alumni or something like UVic runners. That might be his connection with running. I'm speculating, yeah. Nope. They all had different jerseys, not one matching. Yeah. Because you'd think if there were, there would be at least one or two coincidences. But that's... My theory is... My theory is full of crap. What's that French song? Come daddy to the... Yeah, no. Regrets, I've had a few. But uh, the French version of that is Comme d'habitude, like it's based on that French, as usual, like I'm full of crap, as I normally say, all that stuff. Without any... Oh, they might, yeah, that's true. I could have said they might have been from you, Vic. I think I said they look like. They look like Canadian males. Were they? Oh, I didn't see any girls. There she goes. I'm still in zone four. Time twenty five minutes. Average heart rate one hundred thirty. Workout average pace eight minutes. Twenty five minutes. Yep. Twenty five minutes so far. But I'm riding the pause button on my recorder. What? I'm ri riding the pause button. Well, so that way I can break it up if I want to clear my throat or something. Or if it gets really noisy. And when I press... Right well, it's the pause button. It, you can ride it on and off, on and off kind of thing. All right. I've got to cross Cordova Bay Road. That is the noise that I am going to pause. Hang on a second. Okay, here's your friend, the pickleballer. Hello. Maybe he's my friend. Maybe he's one of my running buddies. I I remember him before. I thought it might have been. No, my, the one that we saw, the one that just had me served, the uh, knee replacement. Okay. But he was out here on this exact spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's He's what. He's got to do so many kilometers, but he has to walk it before he's allowed to do Any hiking? Yeah, hmm. So we might see him on this hill once he's strong enough. Covering his side of the court. Yeah, he's a good player, but he can't keep the ball, not to him. Yeah. Slug. Hello. Laugh. 
because I'm up at the net and it goes over his head and he says to me, Yours! <laughs> yeah. Zone three. Zone three. I'm going to pull in. This is where I have to remember to take my refill. And uh, are you waiting for me or are you going to... Well, which way are you going after? I'm going to go to the scenic little... Okay. Then I can do that with you. And then go back up onto the mountain at uh, above the weir. So I'll run pretty much to... Yeah, you go that way. I go back up onto the mountain. But first of all, I take a drink. So we'll pause the recording. If this wasn't such a familiar grove, it is quite stunning, isn't it? Look at the size of those monsters. And they're all within, you know... Yep, on four or five different varieties. Such a lot of diversity. And this old uh, patriarch of the group... Douglas fir. All right, so I've had my drink. Pretty soon I'm going to say bye-bye to Norma. It's after the tree graveyard, and then I'm heading back onto the trails to go through the saddle and then back home. I want... Oh, there's Jackie. Jackie! Zephyr! Here we are. You're back from England? Yeah, and we went to Spain and then we went to, I went to England. And what was it? Did you come in sixth in your... Seventh. In seventh the world. in the world. Yeah. Woohoo! Top woman. And uh, John, was he a gold? Silver. Silver. Yeah, it was frustrating. He should have got the gold, really, but they had this... This system where they had the last race was counted for everything. He was like seven points ahead oh. of his nearest oh, rival. Oh, and then they dropped they, all of that. Well, just... they, yeah, they dropped all that, and they just we let someone picked him on the line in the last oh, in the final race. It's frustrating for him, but he was he's good. He's like I know I sailed well, and you know yeah. he did as much yeah. as good as he could on that it was day. Was gold before that last race? Yeah, exactly. It's frustrating yeah. for John because for some have reason, you met Norma before? I don't think so. My wife, Mrs. Jackal. Oh. Mrs. Jackal. Mrs. Jackal, <laughs> you're out running this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to head back onto the mountain. And She's going to yeah. head back home. towards home. Right, right, right. Nice. Anyway. Beautiful well, morning for a run. It is. Yeah. How long have you been back? Oh, I've been back a month now. We okay. came back. We went early. We went at the end of June. And so. I and you had relatives in England still? Yeah, my sister and my so brother what? and the kid. All the ne- nieces Spain and nephews. Spain must have been hot, though. It was, but it was beautiful because we were on the, on the Atlantic coast and we had a gorgeous oh, sea breeze every yeah. day. Gorgeous nice, wind. Nice. Really fun to sail in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Zephyr's looking great. Oh, yeah. yeah he's a little chap. He's a little I know. He's a little fluff ball. Time to lick his ball. Anyway, look, we're going to see our friends yeah. again now. Bye bye. This is the same group. Hello again! You! Three ladies. Three ladies, that's right. And my friend has gone home. He wasn't there. He was wearing lime green. But they might have been following that marked trail. Ah. They might... <laughs> But there was that marking that said trail road. But that was coming down, as you say, that we're going the wrong way. Unless they were doing the unwind, the cool down, back to the car. Anyway, so we're crossing Ash. Average heart rate 128. Workout average pace 8 minutes 24 seconds per kilometer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is that when we were talking to Jackie, my, my recorder was still going, and so was my, my, my distance recorder and time, so the pace has dropped because we stopped moving. Plus the water stop. That'll do it. Hello. Hello again. Looks like we're seeing everybody twice today. We didn't see the woman on the bench today. Hello again.
I should call this episode Hello Again. Uh, zone four. But that kind of mathematics is what gets you through those boring 100-mile races. you trying to figure out if you're going to make the cut. But with my math skills, I just, just pushed on. I'm going as fast as I can at the moment kind of thing. Anyway, very soon I'll be losing a good part of my think tank. She will be going to the left and I will be going to the right. Zone four is when I hike today. I'm not trying to make this run last longer than it needs to, but I also don't want to work hard for... I want to make myself last longer, yeah? I did take a second drink, which is good. I started with some kombucha, and uh, then I had water. By the time I was halfway through drinking it, I realized it was the warm tap. But I carried on. I think they have solar on the roof of that hut. And after a few minutes, it sort of starts to warm up. But it's never hot. It's never hot enough to scald. Okay, so I've left Norma to run home. And uh, Jackie to walk her dog. Is the Olympic world champion sailor, the one legged sailor? I'm not going to follow Norn all the, way, all the way round until it meets Whitaker and joins up with Glen Denning, and then I'll decide how much further I need to go. This is a very nice runnable section. I should be able to stay in zone three for this part. This is a very large conglomeration of trails. They all meet here. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm soon going to be running past the turn-off for Arbutus Mount, Arbutus Ridge actually, it's not big enough to be a mount. Yeah, this is Norn. I'm now going to be overlapping where we passed a little while ago. I took a slightly lower um, option and it put me back on Whitaker, but very soon I'll be back up on Norn, run by the, the spa and resort. By then I'll be in a quiet enough zone so that I'll be able to hear the readouts once again. There's quite a lot of wind damage here. It rained and it was quite blowy the other night. Zone 4. Got to keep in my zones today. There's going to be some major hiking later on, so I want to stay strong for that. So now I'm on a section of trail that I haven't run today, going, three. Oops, going uh, back into zone three on an uphill. I could start running any second now. Zone two. Oh, there you go. I'm off again. 
Excuse me. I turned the volume up on the girl just a little bit because, uh, as you see, now I can hear what she's saying. I turned it down earlier because of Norma. I didn't want to have to keep yelling above Norma and Samantha. So I turned Samantha down so I wouldn't have to compete in volume with anyone. Sound four. Coming downhill now, so... It should be zone three very soon. Then I'll be in the quiet zone for, zone three. for sure. Then I'll probably turn the volume back down again. So I'm now in the quiet zone. So I'm going to put a little bit of music on for us both, for us all to listen to. But I'm pretty sure that when you listen to my show, you will be listening alone. That's 99% of my, sorry, of my audience will be listening alone with earbuds. That's when I realized that it was not that critical, what I said, because I was not trying to entertain the room. I'm hoping to finish this in eight-minute pace, but we'll see. I've had quite a few stoppages along the way. And I don't have the luxury of the autopause. I'm trying to rub that little stoppage that we had off the one when we were talking to Jackie, the sailor. to the woods I go. But the strains of Errol Dunn. So it's going to be an early show this week. Once again, I'm recording on Saturday. The more memorable of the days I will record. Another reason I put the music on now is that I'm very unlikely to meet anybody for the next 20 minutes. I will be alone in the woods. So I'm now heading up towards Whitaker, and this is where the hiking starts in earnest. I'm probably in zone three at the moment, and if this hill gets any steeper, I will still be in zone three. Even if I'm not running, I can get into zone three quite easily on a steep hike. I have about four minutes to go for my recording, maybe less. The last time I checked, it was like 34. So I might pause it now and get myself up to the saddle and then bid you adieu from the Cougar Cave. Hello. Morning. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm very nervous. 
Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hi, dogs. Yeah. Lots of dogs. Lots of dogs. Lots of hikers. That's good. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Okay, so now the last little push is to the saddle. And then over the top and down. Okay, just coming up on the saddle now. I think I'll probably take it to the end of this tune, which might be the Cougar Cave. But I'll be listening out as they go through the jaws of the saddle. For the last five minutes I've been hiking. Now I should be able to run pretty much without a pause. This is my friend, Brett Midland. Well, now that is worth taking a picture of. There's a tree that is almost completely rotted out. Let me take a picture of it for the title picture, the title photograph, square. Here we go. And one of me. <laughs> yeah, I have two pictures now, and I'm sure I have enough on file to add to the gallery. As I flash down towards the Cougar Cave. Hi. Hi. Trying to avoid breaking my neck just around here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a big step down over a large set of Douglas fir roots. There's the Cougar Cave. Might as well take one from today. Seeing as I've got it set on square. All right, so now I have all the pictures I need. Now I just have to get home safely. And remember to press pause when this tune ends. Finally, I'm moving again. Just before the glory zone. Hello, dog. Hi there. Good dog. Hi.
Zone 4. So that's probably, let me check, in terms of my run. One hour fifteen. So I need another twenty minutes or so. So I'm going to have to go a little longer. But I will say goodbye to you guys very soon. Seventy-five minutes out of a hundred. So, as I guesstimated, I have twenty-five minutes to go. Bye-bye.